coach every phase of the game uh, has an exclamation point with your effort tonight. 50th win of your career, 71% from the three, 50% shooting overall tonight. You nearly doubled the rebounds. Wow. And then the thing I wanted to ask about first was the applause, sincere applause at the end by your crowd. Um, you know, our crowd is so terrific. I did not notice that at the end, but I'm, I'm glad. Um, they've obviously supported us all year long. We've had a heck of a year here at the pit, obviously um, removing our, our last effort here. But overall, we've, we've had a lot of success here. The guys have played well here. I really felt like tonight, especially at the beginning of the game, we you could see we were just working through a lot of things. New guys, a little rusty. Um, offense wasn't quite there. Turned the ball over a lot early on. Um, but defense just kept us in the game. We really, really guarded for the first you know, 20 minutes of the game. And then as the game unfolded, I think some of those other guys got in the rhythm. The defense opened up a little bit. And, and thankfully, we were able to make some shots. So we've been shooting the ball a little bit better lately. We're going to need that. And, uh, and we took care of the basketball. I think you're looking at two turnovers in the last Last whatever it was of the game, you know, um, 15 minutes, uh, 25 minutes or so. You only allowed them one shot. Your rebounding was very. Yeah, no, we wanted. We went into the game really wanting to hurt them on the offensive glass. That was something I, I compared these guys to a, t a couple teams we played earlier this year: UC Davis, Montana. Teams are going to really pack it in, try and keep you off the glass. Very gritty, tough defensive teams. And Wyoming was that. I thought early on in the game they, they bothered us and they worked there, but we just kept going to the glass, going to the glass, and and thankfully things opened up for us. Zane's a guy that started coming into his own a little bit yep. once Jaquan was out, and he kind of was the lead guard. Tonight, everybody's back. Vance is back. Yep. Vaughn's back. And, and Zane, again, performs pretty well, especially on the offensive end. Can you speak to his role with this team now that Jaquan's back? Um, that's a that's a great question. I wish I had it clearly defined. I think that's something we're going to work through. Early in the game, Zane was playing point guard, Jaquan was playing two, and that's kind of how we went today. But I'm open with what we're going to do there. There might be some flips in that where Jaquan goes to the point, he goes to the two. But you know, today he he managed it. I thought he did a pretty good job. They're a great charge taking team, and and they really hurt him in game one. But I thought tonight he did a little bit of a better job of just staying out of trouble and and not turning the ball over with those charges. And we got his minutes just a little bit down. I think getting him down into the range he's at right now, he can be exceptional. I think earlier when he got into trouble, it was just his minutes just got so much, and I think it just affected his game. And was there a concern, though, that when Jaquan came back, or maybe even Vance coming back, that it would take away kind of what Zane became overall. <laughs> Maybe so, like in, in, in theory for Zane, from Zane's perspective, but I think overall for our team, no. It, it's, it allowed a guy to grow. I, I got a text message from Zane's dad um, after the Fresno game, Sunday morning, and he was even the one telling me, Coach, this is only going to make us better when these other guys come back. This is a great opportunity for my son. He's growing, he's developing, and then when the other guys come back, it's just going to make us better. So I, I prefer to look at it that way and hope that that's going to be the case. It's better for him, and it's better for all of us. Coach, uh, not a lot of production from Jaquan, and up until Vance got hot in the second half, not a lot from him, but those two clearly made a difference. I'm yeah. just curious what's your perspective on those Man, it just it slides everybody kind of down the depth chart, so to speak, and they're out there kind of taking those bullets, and it just allows those other guys to kind of come into less pressure situations. They have different guys guarding them. The reality is, Jaquan and Vance are, are going to be guarded by two of the better players. So now, McWatch, Malwatch, and Keith McGee and Zane Martin, they're just going to have better matchups on the floor. So you're right. At halftime, I think everybody, I think the rest of the team was shooting 70, 80 percent, and those two were on the 20s or so, um, and that if that's the way it's going to be for a little bit, I don't think that's the end of the world because it's going to really hopefully allow the rest of these guys to flourish. So I know you've been saying a lot that you're not a three-point team. I know. Um, Vance has shown that he can do it. Yeah. How are you feeling about it now? Yeah. Um, obviously, Vance has always been a good three-point shooter. Right up until the, the three games before he got hurt, he was just struggling. It wasn't going down. He started finally making some shots. He made, six, I think, six threes here against Fresno in that last game here. He's obviously historically been a tremendous three-point shooter. UConn here, um, that, that, that's something he does. He just hadn't shot it well early in the year as these guys were all figuring <coughs> each other out. We had a lot of new pieces and a lot of guys 
guys, go, you know, learning each other. But uh, I thought the good thing about today was a lot of those were inside out threes. It was an inside out post touch. Even the ones Corey made, a lot of them were inside to Jaquan in the post, kick out to Corey for three. You know, and those inside out threes were okay with. The issues we have is when we just kind of rush the perimeter ones without ever getting a paint touch. You guys had five assists in the first half and 18 for the game. So. Yeah. What was different in the second half? I know some of them were kind of mop up time at the end. Yeah, of yeah. But you guys seem to be sharing the ball a little more, or was it just shots were going down? Yeah, you know, we, we went to a couple of different looks in the in the second half, a couple of different kind of sets that we have that we didn't do in the first half, thinking it would open it up. And I don't know if it was just that or it was just the course of the game maybe wearing on them a little bit. Um, where things just opened up and we just got in a real rhythm there at one point out of a certain action with Corey and Quan and, and Keith on the lob and some different things. Coach, have some fun. The two dunks at the end. <laughs> Do they awe you? I love the dunks. Uh, sometimes we get a little excessive in our celebration, which I love. I love the celebration. I love their being happy. I just get a little concerned about the <coughs> message it sends sometimes to an opponent. But it was done in, in, in good faith. I'm happy for those guys. They didn't play great defense down the stretch, which bothers me because we're trying to get those guys more minutes. We're trying to get them along. They didn't come in with the urgency I really would have liked defensively. But overall, the group had some good energy, and I'm happy that they had some, some good points. Coach, were you awed by the dunks? <laughs> I've seen Emmanuel do a lot of things. Uh, he's an incredible athlete, probably one of the best athletes I've ever coached. I've seen those dunks a lot. So it, it's awe, I think, to, to people who haven't seen much of him. But I, I see a lot of that stuff every day. Coach, with everything that's gone on, the, the distractions and all that, is, is the chemistry actually getting better now that everyone's starting to come back together and see? I hope so. I don't think our chemistry was ever bad, to be honest with you. These guys all like each other. Um, they've all had great relationships with each other off the court, in the locker room, wherever it, wherever it may be. The issues we might have had early in the year were just guys frustrated with their minutes or their role, but I don't think it was ever a chemistry thing. So I feel like even though we've had a, a tougher stretch in a lot of different ways, I never feel like we ever broke. I always felt we kind of stuck together. And I, even after the Fresno game, as tough as it was, as a staff, we were just sitting there. That was a bit of a litmus test game. We didn't win, but at least we responded. At least we're still digging. There's a pulse in there still. And I think we just got to try and resuscitate to take the rest of it and try and finish the season the way it started. Last one. Corey has a career high night. Yeah. Scoring wise, 28 9. Um, getting to the foul line, though, it's, uh, what is it, 10, 10 of 11. Yep. I mean, getting to the foul line that many times, I think, is probably what you would want to see every night. Why was he able to? have that much success and, and get into the line with regularity. Well, I'm just happy he finally started making free throws, man. He's uh, uh, it, it, last year he was missed. He, 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 yeah, he, so. last year he was a great free throw shooter. I've been giving him crap all year. Man, your free throws aren't going down, but it's great. He's a he's obviously got terrific hands. I've told you before how good of an offensive player I think he is. The issue with him has always been the rebounding and the and the defense and his rebounding in particular since Carlton hasn't been around, I think's been awesome. He's a very gifted offensive player. Uh, putting him in, in actions and things is hard to guard. And he's been making these threes in practice lately. He's shooting the ball well. Uh, and if he keeps playing the way he does, he'll, he'll continue to have the freedom to shoot them. I mean, him, his opening things up down low is kind of what maybe helps those three-point shots and stuff like that. For sure. No, we, we kind of go to him early. We went to him first play of the game. We try and go to him early just seeing how teams are going to guard him. We, we, we thought there would probably be a little bit more double teams. And he kind of had room to operate down there. And when he has room to operate, he's a, he's a very good player. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.